Okay, um, today on the Cowbridge Kitchen, we're going to make um, a classic Italian uh, dish. We're going to make some tortellini. Um, dead simple to do, okay? Um, and with, with tortellini, you can fill it with anything you like. I mean, you can make sausage tortellini, you can have bolognese tortellini, pumpkin tortellini, um, curry tortellini, whatever one you want, okay? Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to do a sausage uh, filling today. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make them up okay we've got pasta sheets fresh pasta sheets that i've already made and that's in a previous video okay in fact i think um, it's part of this thread so it's in this playlist so take a look at the pasta sheets and then you'll see how i've made them um i'm going to make mine today with a quick homemade um, tomato sauce and some mediterranean couscous okay so i've got some pasta sheets here that i've already rolled out so i'll just show you these and then i'll show you um how to construct these tortellini Okay, so here um, I've got some ready um, rolled out pasta sheets, okay, which, which um, I rolled out um, a little bit earlier on. And like I said, there's a, a good video um, in this playlist that shows you how to make this, this pasta. It's dead simple. Okay, so we're going to use this. I'm, I've got a glass, um, which I'm going to use as my template to cut out uh, the tortellini uh, rounds. And we've got a lightly floured chopping board to pop them on. Okay, this glass, um, there we are. It's about two and a half inches, okay? So two and a half inches across, um, that will give you about the right size, okay? Don't go any bigger than that unless you're going to make giant ones. So there we are. That's the size of your glass. So what we're going to do, we're literally just going to cut these out um, with the glass. And I don't know how many I'm going to get out of each one. Probably three or four. Okay, so we pop the glass on there. Get yourself a knife and just cut around it. Yeah, and that will come out into the glass. Gently roll it off once you can get hold of it. There we are. And that is your round for your tortellini. So we'll pop these onto our floured board. And I'll show you one more. Yeah, just cut around that glass. There we go, and pop him on the flower board. Okay, so we're gonna do the rest of these now, um, and then we'll see how many we've got at the end. And there we are. There's our um, tortellini rounds all cut out, um, and it turned out we got about 16 out of there. So, but portion for two there, so eight per portion, that should be pretty decent. So um, with our eight um, tortellinis there, we'll leave them aside a second. What we're going to do now is concentrate on the filling. Um, like I said, dead simple the filling, you can fill these with whatever you like. Um, I'm going to use sausage meat, okay, just plain simple sausage meat. I've got some sausage meat um, that I've made up here. Um, just got a few sausages, skinned them and uh, just rolled up the meat a little bit. So we'll use this for our filling, but if you want, um, you can use uh, you could use chili, you could use bolognese, you can use um, ham, you could use a number of other things, pumpkin, whatever you like really, um, to fill these with. Um, so what I'll try and do is I'll get a few recipes on the website uh, for for fillings, okay? But for today, I'll show you um, how to fill these tortellini and how much you need in them. Okay, so what we need to do is we'll get each one and we'll pop that onto um, the side okay with our sausage meat now we're only going to put a small amount of sausage meat in here okay and f about that much quarter to half of a teaspoon okay and what we're going to do is going to pop that into the middle and we'll just straighten it out a little bit and that is the maximum amount of filling you're going to want in there okay so I'm going to show you this nice and close what we're going to do with your tortellini, you're going to make a little parcel now, okay? So fold it over onto the sausage meat so you've got a parcel and squash down those edges like so. And then take these two edges and fold them back on themselves, crimp them down, and there is your tortellini shape. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Take our tortellini small amount of filling whatever you're using okay make that into a 
pasty. There we are, there's our pasty stage. And then pull it back away from the crimp side, back on itself. Fold it, tortellini. Dead simple. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these and then we'll show you how to cook them. Okay, so there's our uh, tortellinis made. Okay, we've made 12 of them um, because that's going to be plenty to, to show you this video. So what we're going to do now is um, I'll just show you how to throw the tomato sauce together um, and then we can get these tortellinis cooking. Okay, so um, for the tomato sauce, dead simple. This is a quick, simple tomato sauce at the stuff you can buy in the supermarket, okay? I've got one tin of chopped tomatoes. I've got one chopped up, roughly chopped up red onion. I'm going to have about three or four pitted green olives and some lazy garlic in a food processor. We're just going to throw that in the food processor, process it, stick it on the other, um, stick it on a the stove then in a pan to warm up. Okay, so first in, tomatoes. Get them open. Put them just go straight in there. Lovely. Then our onions in on top of that. Okay, lazy garlic. You can use proper garlic if you like. I'm just going to use lazy garlic. It's about half a teaspoon of lazy garlic in there. And we want about four of these pitted olives. Okay, just drop them in there. And the one ingredient I did forget to mention, some tarragon. Okay, we're going to need some tarragon in there. So I want about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of tarragon. And yeah, we'll just guess that. Yeah. Like I say, you can use dry or you can use fresh, it's entirely up to you. Okay, pop our lid on and we'll process that into a paste. And there we go. Okay, so there's our tomato sauce. What we're going to do is get um, this sauce into a saucepan on a stove, warm that up. Job done. What we're going to do next is um, get our tortellini into a pan of hot water. Okay, um, so with our tortellinis all made up, our tomato sauce is um, warm on the stove. I've got a pan of boiling water here, um, the lid on it, and that water is boiling hot. Tortellinis are going to go straight into there. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this. I'm going to use a slotted spoon. You can use a basket if you like. Just put your tortellinis into a basket and pop them in that hot water. But this water has to be boiling, okay? So what we're going to do, we're just going to get our tortellinis onto the slotted spoon and drop them straight into the water. There we are. So we need to cover that now. Let that boil five minutes and they'll be ready. There we are. Let's take the lid off, take a little look at these bad boys. Right. They've been cooking there for five minutes and they are ready. So all we're going to do is we're going to get them drained off into a colander and we'll get it all served up with our Mediterranean couscous and our homemade tomato sauce. Mm -hmm.